urban mobility is uh, is a, a concept uh, which is uh, taking a wonderful shape in the country and a lot of research activity has been happening in this particular sector and IIT Hyderabad has been playing significant role in this particular area one is bringing out e vehicles mm, and uh, uh, there are quite a number of uh, faculty at IIT Hyderabad who are working on batteries, who are working on thermal management, who are working on uh, the whole, uh, uh, what I would call it as uh, uh, manufacturability, battery management and areas like that. And, and there are startups that have come out of IIT Hyderabad, for example, Pure EV, which is already making uh, almost 2,000 uh, uh, two-wheelers. Uh, e two wheelers uh, on a daily basis. So that is something which uh, we are really proud of that is coming out of IIT Hyderabad. In addition, uh, we also have uh, for the first time in the country uh, set up what we call it as THAN, uh, Technology Innovation Hub for Autonomous Navigation, which has a test bed to test autonomous vehicles. A uh, two kilometer track, which is for the first time in the country, has been set up for exclusively autonomous vehicles. A lot of research is happening on passenger drones at IIT Hyderabad, also p uh, passenger vehicles, which are autonomous passenger vehicles, and also on the last mile connectivity, such as bicycles, which you can order, uh, which can come on its own to you, and you ride it and leave it, and the vehicle goes back. To its uh, base station on its own. So all these areas, there is a lot of uh, interesting uh, technologies that are being developed. In addition, in the EV technology, you also have to uh, think of uh, vehicle talking to another vehicle, V2X technology, that is another area where IIT Hyderabad is playing significant role. In addition to the research, IIT Hyderabad also, also come up with a number of uh, uh, master's programs. One such program I can say is EV technology M-Tech. Uh, we also have an M-Tech in smart mobility. We also have an M-Tech in on e-waste management. So a number of these uh, master's programs uh, have been churned out out of IIT Hyderabad to help uh, the country produce the future leaders who can take the country to greater heights. Vehicle dynamics is one of the important area uh, which required to be uh, applied for any vehicle design. And with the advent of EV, so if you compare it with the conventional uh, vehicles, the focus was mostly on engines. Now we have batteries, powertrains and many more components in EV. Hence, the vehicle safety and control requires a special emphasis and new uh, uh, designs need uh, to be proposed. Now if you uh, see tire is one of the component which were uh, explored very less and uh, what we are doing right now is uh, we are uh, trying to improve the tire design, tire forces estimation so that the vehicle control can be uh, improved tremendously and the concept of smart tires which is taking shape is coming up now. We are pleased to showcase our technology on the next generation mobility uh, at IIT Hyderabad in which we are not only just taking care of uh, the electric vehicle technology but we are going beyond the autonomous navigation uh, to developing the vehicle dynamics. Uh, this uh, particular showcase booth uh, will be showing the different kinds of materials, uh, chemistry of those battery materials in which our research groups are working at IIT Hyderabad to the advanced level where we are able to fabricate the coin cell, pouch cell and uh, the cell stack for the electric vehicles and also at the same time we are integrating it with the actual uh, two-wheelers uh, uh, with the help of pure EV technology startup of IIT Hyderabad. In addition to this, we are also working on autonomous navigation, which is supported by Department of Science and Technology, in which we are moving towards the next generation mobility technologies with the IoT system integrated. 
Coming to the, especially the battery materials, we are working on different kinds of etho, anode and cathode materials on their chemistries, like NMC cathode, candle suit based uh, uh, anode, and graphite based anode, and silica carbon based uh, composite anodes. And we are able to demonstrate the TRL level 4 to TRL level 6 on these technologies, in which we are able to fabricate the regular coin cell and pouch cell, which can deliver the uh, capacity beyond the commercial cap, uh, cells uh, after even 1000 cycles with around 90% capacity retention. I hope uh, this technology uh, at IIT Hyderabad will serve the uh, society at large and we will be achieving our goal of next generation mobility technologies in the years to come. Surendra Martha, Associate Professor at the Department of Chemistry, IIT Hyderabad. Recently, we have developed 5 volt dual carbon cell where we are replacing both the electrodes of a lithium ion cell with a carbon electrode. During charge and discharge at high voltages, the electrolyte decomposes unintercalate and intercalate into the carbon sheet of carbon, giving OCB of 5 volt operating voltage around 4.65 volt. The Energy density of such dual carbon cell is around 100 watt hour per kilogram and can be further pushed to 150 watt hour per kilogram with research and development, which is very close to the energy density of currently available lithium ion cell. The most important advantage of dual carbon cell is that it doesn't use any metallic current collector. Uh, the heavy metals such as nickel, manganese, cobalt, and the expensive metal, cobalt and lithium, which are not available in India. So this dual carbon cells could be 25% cheaper and lighter in relation to uh, the lithium ion cell. This dual carbon cells can find potential application in, in EVs, HEVs, electricity application, medical application and grids. Besides, I have a group of 9 PhD, 3 MSc, 1 postdoc working on the interfaces of new materials basically for the energy storage systems they develop uh, lithium ion cells sodium ion cells potassium ion cells and the, the latest batteries ultra capacitors and recycling lithium ion batteries hi i am shujit and she's Udita. so we have fabricated one 5 volt dual carbon cell so in conventional lithium ion batteries costly and sparse metals like nickel cobalt and manganese are used but in our product we have substituted all the products with low cost and safe carbon our uh, device is expected to cut down the cost of conventional lithium and batteries by an uh, amount of 25% and it is uh, expected to find utility in uh, various uh, high voltage applications like electric vehicles and also in medical appliances. So at IIT Hyderabad, we have been working on innovative and R&D projects related to the electric vehicle space since last five years. There are various faculty members who are heading uh, cutting edge lab laboratories, center of excellences, and indeed also startups like, you know, in this uh, emerging space. So the, the when we talk about the startups or the COEs, it's... Uh, they have been into the development of electric scooters, three-wheeler and electric cars, which are meant for the uh, commercial usage purpose. And it's not just focusing on the end uh, uh, consumer products, but uh, these uh, startups and uh, COEs are also into the promotion of Atmanirbhar Bharat, that is the domestic value addition by developing in-house technologies related to right from cell chemistry, materials, lithium ion cells, sodium ion cells, battery management systems, internet of things, AA algorithms, vehicle dynamics, uh, development of new tires, and a lot of new uh, uh, thermal management uh, systems like, uh, and additive manufacturing, smart manufacturing. So it is covering gamut of uh, different technologies with the focus on Atmanirbhar Bharat. And currently, if you talk about uh, IIT Hyderabad, like, you know, both the startups and the CEO is put together. 
So we have, I think, employed more than 800 to 1,000 uh, people across various different startups related to the EV space, and uh, into the uh, which uh, many startups, including startups like Pure EV, which have uh, translated the technology into revenues, also which all startups put together have crossed 500 CR kind of turnover and in terms of the IP value addition also all the startups and CVs put together we have more than 100 uh, IP applications and the way forward for us is like you know so we we want to del deliver uh, uh, products which are uh, uh, commute purpose like you know value for money and also uh, uh, deliver a lot into the technology we have a hub on autonomous navigation, which is called as Technology Innovation Hub on Autonomous Navigation at IIT Hyderabad, funded by DST under NMICPS. Uh, we have we do a different kind of technology development for safe, sustainable next generation mobility solutions. We start we come up with end-to-end -end solution encompassing sensor, multi-sensor perception, AI, ML, edge compute, communication, testing, validation and also a test bed, first of its kind, autonomous navigation test bed for aerial and terrestrial vehicle testing is built at IIT Hyderabad campus. So this has different kind of proving grounds, different kind of smart infrastructure, where the different use cases that an autonomous vehicle will have to be tested before it actually goes for field deployment can be tested and validated in the test bed at IIT Hyderabad campus. Coming to the autonomous ground vehicle, we work on different category of vehicles starting from M1 category, the passenger cars, to campus shuttle vehicles, to e-rickshaw, where ADAS, the, uh, the advanced driver assisted system is integrated with multiple sensors on board and enabling safety to the vehicle. Different levels of autonomous vehicles have been tested and validated and are being researched at IIT Hyderabad in the autonomous navigation test bed, that is the Tihan test bed at IIT Hyderabad. Now coming to drones, we work on different category of drones, starting from micro nano category, which is less than 2 kg, where we work on bio-inspired uh, aerial vehicles, you know, like uh, the dragonfly or the flapping wing drones and uh, this is mainly we are focusing on surveillance and we are also working on space exploration programs as the application area for this and for medium category which is between 2 kg and 25 kg high-end sensors are getting integrated onto the drones you know like hyperspectral imager or lidar and the targeted application areas are you know, creating end-to-end um, -end pipelines for agriculture purposes, for land survey purposes. And then coming to the medium and large category, about 25 kg, you know, we are working on air cargo drones, which will be useful for, you know, uh, lifting heavy payloads, which can be used for different kind of delivery purposes. And apart from that, we are also moving forward. We also want to work on air taxi, and that is urban air mobility solutions uh, as one of the application areas. So this is about the autonomous drones or autonomous UAV activities. Now, you know, in order to cater to end-to-end, -to -end, you know, transportation or end-to-end -end next generation mobility solutions, you know, the first mile, end mile connectivity is very important where IIT Hyderabad is also working on autonomous e-bikes where you know we have come up with a proof of concept of autonomous e-bike where from a common parking lot you know a user asks for an e-bike the e-bike comes to the user and after using the e-bike if he drops it you know the e-bike goes back to the parking lot so such kind of uh, end mile first mile connectivity is also being integrated in the solutions that is being proposed by IIT Hyderabad as the future mobility solutions. So going forward, uh, the Technology Innovation Hub on Autonomous Navigation at IIT Hyderabad will be a destination for next generation mobility solutions, will be a platform for collaborative research between academia, industry and R&D labs, not only national but also international. Thank you.